Hello everybody. Um, today in this video, I'm going to talk about one important topic in MATLAB, which is um, defining functions. Uh, but before we talk about MATLAB, let's just make a quick review on the functions and what are the functions, why we need the functions, and how we deal with the functions. So the function is um, just a relation or expression that is, is involving one or more variables. So for instance, let's see this um, equation. So it says this, uh, f of x equals 5x power 3 minus 2 over x plus 30 uh, exponential x over 100. So uh, what I have in red here, it's x. And it, this x is the same x that is here in that function. So the the, uh, the way we use this function is that uh, we say that any change in this x will reflect in, in all these x's here. So if, for instance, I say f of 3, this means that this will be 3, this will be 3, and this will be 3. So uh, this is the main of a function, that I have a variable that I change in here, and then it changes in all the corresponding values here in the equation. Um, this uh, function can be uh, a function of more than one variable. So I can say that function of x and y, which is 5x power 3 plus 3xy squared minus 5x over y. And in this case, I have to provide two values um, to the, uh, the, the two variables so that I can put 10 instead of the x and negative 2 instead of uh, the y's, like these two. So this is simply the, uh, the meaning of a function, or what we mean by the word function. Um, in chemical engineering, because we are, we are focusing more in chemical engineering apl applications, in chemical engineering we have a lot of functions. So for instance, we have these three examples, that this is the Van der Waals equation of a state. It's, uh, sometimes you, you know the pressure, you know the, um, the temperature, and all the other variables, and then it's just function of V. Uh, and you have V3 in three places here. Um, this is a material balance on a distillation column, so you have the, the function of XD in case you know all the other variables, so you have XD in, in more than one place. Uh, this is um, a reversible reaction, so you have it's a, the equation is a function of two concentrations, A and B, uh, so this is the forward reaction and this is the backward reaction. So it's, it's a something that we deal with a lot in our applications. And in any other engineering application, you will find many, many, many equations that may be function of three, four, five variables in, in many cases. So um, let's go and see how we deal with this in MATLAB. So what we use in MATLAB is called function handle. So it is um, a, a, a kind of a, 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 a variables that you define to MATLAB that stores uh, an association to a function. So uh, this is actually a function. And we need to know how we can define the function so that we can deal with it simply. Um, and you can call the function uh, like the way we did before by putting another variable or, or a value and then ask the, the function to calculate using the new variable. And actually, in, in MATLAB, the function handle is very, very important because we need it in a lot of applications. One of them is to pass a function to another function. Um, uh, for instance, you have a function that you need to integrate, you need to solve, get the roots, or whatever thing. You need to define this function and then call it using another function. We will use it many, many, many times in, in plotting, in uh, sol solving differential equation, get, getting roots of nonlinear equations. All of these uh, and, and many other applications will require defining a function handle. Um, we can call back a function. Um, so we, we will talk about this later. Um, um, this, these applications, well, uh, uh, maybe uh, kind of uh, more advanced applications. This is the main application that we'll be interested in. Um, and in case we require any of these, we will talk about them later when we uh, go to them. Uh, and actually, this is the definition from the uh, MATLAB's help. Um, so or the documentation. So this I, I, I prefer to get it from there so you know that it has many applications that we'll be interested in. So now let's go and see how we can deal with this in MATLAB. So let's say we will um, use this function. It's 5x power 3 um, minus 2 over x plus 30 exponential x over 100. So the way we define a function is that you first give it a name. So I'll call it f. And then you have to define first which variable that will be uh, the one that you will be working on. So I have, I, I, in this case, I have it as a function of x. So I have to write it this way um, at x. Um, 
So now MATLAB understands that this is the variable that you will be using um, to define the function. And then we, we just write the equation 5x power 3. It's 5 multiplied by x power uh, 3 plus or minus 2 over x um, plus uh, 30 multiplied by exponential x over 100. So once you do this, it says that it is a function handle with a value. And then you, you need to take a look at this uh, icon here. So before when we define a function, uh, uh, any variable, let's say h equals 1, so it, it gives you like a square uh, or a split into four small squares, which is kind of representing a matrix. But now the f has a different shape. It is a cube, which is what MATLAB uses to define a function handle. Um, so this this is important to to know is it a function handle or not, and to get uh, an easy way or find an easy way to find the differences between the inputs that you put to MATLAB. So now let's say I have now the function handle. I want to use it. I want to see how the very value of x will be when I uh, put x equals ten, for instance. So all what I need to do is to say f of ten. And this is uh, how it does uh, work. It's, it's pretty simple. You can put it for 100, um, put it for 1, put it for 0 0.1. So actually what I'm doing is I'm not writing the same equation again. I'm, I'm just uh, putting the value in here and it's calculating it directly. So it's an easy way to do that. Um, let's say I have another function g that it's going to be a function of x and y. So I'll put now at x and y and now I will um, define any function it's 5 multiplied by x multiplied by y plus 2 multiplied by x divided by uh, y power 2 plus 10 multiplied by y it's just any function it's now function handle again it's uh, is it here it's here and now I can do the same thing I will put g of 10 now it's going to give an error because, uh, as we said, it is a function of two variables. So I need to define the two variables. So I have to put 10 and negative 2, for instance. So it's it's going to do that. Uh, one, one, one good thing about the function handle is that you can calculate multiple values uh, with the same operation. So if, if I say f of 1, 2, 3, and 4, um, it will uh, calculate it. But in this case, um, well, let's see. Um, no, um, in this case I have, because, because it's going to be kind of matrix operation and then you have a power and you need to do um, an element wise operation. So uh, I have to redefine f um, as uh, the same thing, but I will put the element wise multiplications and divisions so that it can do the, the job. Uh, so now I can do f of 1, 2, 3, and 4. It will calculate it the same way. And and if you remember, f of 1 was 33.315, uh, 3015. So it's the same value. And, and you can calculate 100 values with one single operation. So for instance, if I say f of 1 from 1 to um, 10, it will calculate 10 values uh, with the same uh function with one only one operation. If you do this in MATLAB, it will take more time because you have to calculate it in, uh, I mean in Excel, you have calculated in 10 different cells. Uh, it's not going to be a lot of time, but it will, will take a lot of space because if, if you have 100 values, then you can do this with just one click. Uh, in Excel, you have to drag 100 cells so you can do the same thing. Um, and you see 100 is 5.001. We did 100 before, I think. Um, no, we can, you can just check, um, yeah, it's, uh, the same way, it's all multiplied by 10 per 6. So you have, you have it, uh, pretty, pretty simple and straightforward. Um, so this is the, the way we use function handles. Um, it's, it's going to be very, very important. We will use it a lot in the future. So you need to be very, very familiar with it. Um, and I'll see you next video, inshallah. Goodbye.